Okay, welcome to the Vegan Bodybuilder Food Hall. We are at Tesco. We're gonna go in, we're gonna get the goods. I have my shopping list ready. There's only, I need a decent amount. I've got a fair amount at home, but I'm gonna take you through like my carb sources, my protein sources, my fats, and then all the other shit that I like to eat, just to, you know, spice things up a little bit. The 80-20 rule, you know, all that good stuff. So we're gonna go in, grab some food, and um, hopefully not get kicked out of Tesco. Mate, Halloween, poppy apples. Do you know, I reckon you could kill someone with one of these. <laughs> They're fucking hard, like. Ah, that genuinely is pretty solid. You gotta think what that does to your teeth. I'm very selective when it comes to my iceberg lettuces because you want to get as much bang for your buck but you want them to be fresh. So like, it's a mix between like, size and quality. Like, just this difference. Okay, so, we're done. We're going home now. That's a vegan food shop for you. Right, so in the cereal department, there's one thing that I want to clarify. I've had a few of you on Instagram message me this and say, Excuse me, do you know that the cereals are enriched with vitamins, such as vitamin... <laughs> the cereals, such as the Kellogg's ones, which are, you know, enriched with vitamin D, apparently it comes from, like, sheep wool or something like that. Which, if you think that sheep wool coated Cocoa Pops is not, you know, something that you want to do, cool, I get down with that. For me, I am plant-based largely due to health. I just don't like eating meat, okay? And then there is also some ethical reasons. However, stroking some sheep wool and putting that on my Cocoa Pops so I can have a bit more vitamin D, I'm okay with that. So I'm gonna get my Cocoa Pops. But I'm really sad that these ones have milk in because I wanna try those. Also, these ones, like these chocolate melts, again, I can't have them and I'm a fucking melt for chocolate. So I'd love to have those, but I can't. But for now, Cocoa box. What is next? Tomatoes, mushrooms, spinach, <laughs> rass kicks. Let's get some rass kicks. Fish and a rass kick. Four o'clock, just before a train, I'll have fish and a rice cake. Oh wait, rice cakes are all the way on the other side, but I do need some bread. So we'll get the bread. Why have we decided to come to Tesco at the busiest time of day? Why is Friday 10 a.m. the busiest time of day to come to Tesco? I'm trying to find like that, you know that soya bread that you introduced me to? Yeah, no, I can't find it anywhere. It bangs. And I um, I ordered some the other week, but I don't know whether they have it in here. This will do. Seeded loaf for the protein. Packaging designed to be used over and over again. Oh, it's very clever. We love hashtag sustainability. So basically, it's the food that costs like 50p for some penne pasta. It's all right, love, no worries. So it's like 50p penne pasta and some Tupperware, but they're gonna charge you five pounds for it. Whereas you could buy a pound of Tupperware, pound, pound, Tupperware that costs a pound, and a pound's worth pasta for two pounds. So, you know, they're trying to sell you something which is meant to be like long-term sustainable. You can do it alternatively. Look at that. Club card price, only a pound. Almond milk for just like shakes and coffees, right? I'll do a couple of those. Just looking at my friends, my sea friends that I'm trying to save. Do you know, my brother used to work at a fish counter and you'd know he was home because of like, if the house smelt of fish or not. Like, that's how disgusting it would be. Right, the vegan section. So, protein sources. Tofu, always bangs. It's like a sponge that tastes of nothing. So depending on how you flavor it, is what it tastes like. So, it's actually very versatile. Good source of protein, digest easily, winning. I'm not joking when I say I literally eat one of these a day. So, 
<laughs> oh, yeah, the whole tray. Get in. So taking six of those. I'm not one for vegan cheese because when you look at what it is, it's literally just coconut oil. So you might as well just eat coconut oil out of a jar. I just think it's a little bit weird. Highly processed. So not that it's bad, but like also none of it actually tastes like cheese. If someone's got a good recommendation for a vegan cheese, let me know, but I don't trust any of them. Right, on to the rice cakes. I'll train, I'll have me fish. I don't know why I'm still not traumatized from having eaten as many rice cakes as I did on prep. Do you know what I've just realized? I want a can of Monster, but I don't have my ID. Mate, look at this, they've got coffee from prep. That's going straight in my basket. They've got new packaging. Beautiful stuff. Right, do you have your ID? But no, do you... I've just got paid for that. <laughs> if, if I give you my monster, can you buy it for me? Because I, they literally ID me every time for a fucking monster. And I've literally got to the stage where I've nearly had arguments being like, but you, I'm holding my car keys. Like I'm over 15 and they're like, yeah, but we have to challenge over 25. Like, betches. Right, to any of you who have immature taste buds and say that the mule monster is not good because you can't handle the spice, you need to grow up. This is easily one of the best monsters. The Ultra Fiesta is pretty good too, but nothing beats the orange dreamsicle rain. However, you can make a version which is not caffeinated by putting in 25% orange aid and 30, that doesn't make sense, 75% cream soda. That's how you get it. You gotta do the do, right? D D mega doo doo. I'm very particular when it comes to my toilet paper. We like the luxury stuff. I like to go for the the coconut oil one for hydration, but usually I get the nine pack to save myself some money, but they don't have it. So this week we're gonna be moisturizing with the shea butter. Unless they've got you know, I think it was in Asda, I saw they have a watermelon and strawberry flavoured, not flavoured, you don't eat it. Scented, scented. I'm so, I'm annoyed because I want the coconut oil, but this will have to do. Is this the best section? It is a good section, but it's not as good as the Sainsbury section. Tesco do okay, but Sainsbury's is even better. So, Ah, I'll explain. I'll explain my, my thought choices. We're talking vegan burgers. The Richmond ones versus the Taste and Glory ones. I compared these this week. These win. Just that little bit more. They're better. So we're going in with some of these. Also, this is like pulled pork, which is not pulled pork, but it's fucking awesome in wraps and stuff like that. So this is awesome. We'll get some of that. Four pounds for two sausages. Two pounds of sausage. Steep. No, but they are made of lots of protein. That's not bad. Per sausage, 17 grams of protein. It's better than what I've had in the past. Um, I'm gonna say no. Okay. That's enough because they're actually quite expensive meat replacements that all the Linda sausages are here because they moved them because they're half price. This is where we stock up. These are like £2.30 per pack and they're half price. So we're loading up. Fruit. Right, so I need to be sensible here because I'm going to have like some cookies but I can't be a dick and go all out on the ice cream if I'm gonna have cookies. It's either all out on the ice cream or sensible ice cream and good cookies. So we're gonna to have to go for a bit of a, a bit of a mid-range luxury when it comes to the ice cream. Tesco's, Tesco's options are shit. Usually, I'll be honest, the Halo Top, the vegan one, is not that good. This chocolate pretzel one, Fucking ridiculous. I had it last week, we'll get it again. But I would like some more variety. So, I think there's just a couple more things. One of them being bin bags. How much is it gonna be? 
This is going to come to £67.58. £67.58. I'm calling it now. And that's with some club card savings as well. <laughs> you can be famous if you want. So, I'm going to do a little bit of a breakdown for you guys to kind of show you what my main carb sources are, my main protein sources, fats, fruits and veggies, and then kind of like miscellaneous stuff that I like to indulge in. So this is what my carbs look like. All of the cream of rice, all of it. This apple crumble and custard flavor is absolutely incredible. Any cream of rice that you need from Cardiff Sports Nutrition, Full Ball Sports, Millie 10, 10% 10 off, link below. Um, so yeah, cream of rice, super easy to digest, really, really good for both pre and post workout, particularly use it a lot on my training days. On my rest days, I like to have oats. These are the best fucking oats that you will ever find. The hype is real. Anyone who doesn't believe that these oats are awesome, like you are very wrong. Um, so oats, they have a little bit more fat in them. So I'll leave those for my um, rest days. And the same for the high protein granola from Tesco. I love granola on yogurt. Um, so this is another easy way to just top up your protein by using high protein granola. There's loads of them in super markets now. So there's super stores, like super store. Um, Quick acting carbs again, like rice cakes and bananas, like just good for around training windows and stuff like that. Um, then cereal, I love my fucking Cocoa Pops. Saurine, every now and then I indulge in a little bit of saurine when you put this in the air fryer with Biscoff on top, toasted saurine. Oh my God, it's so good. What's the best flavor, saurine? Banana's pretty good, but I don't think it's as juicy as the normal saurine. And then the other ones, like, they're all good, but like, I don't know. I, I like original sorry, I'm gonna be honest. What about, what about you? Uh, there's a chocolate orange one. I haven't tried that, I need Bang. to get that. I think it's only like a Halloween special one. I was, I've seen. It's coming up to Halloween soon, it's gonna get spooky. So, in terms of like bread and stuff, I have been having a lot of bagels and like English muffins recently. But usually I tend to get like, um, well, I usually tend to get those, but recently I've tried this kind of like seeded bread. Usually it's a linseed and soya seeded bread and soya is, or soy is a really good protein option because it's got all nine essential amino acids. So this bread, I looked on the back, also is made with soya flour. So per slice of bread, this is like six grams of protein, which is pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, 130 calories six grams of protein, so beans on toast, why fucking not? Beans per half a tin, 10 grams of protein. It's so it's so easy to get protein in as a vegan, like so easy. Also got some pasta, I've got the free from because this is rice based, so it just digests a little bit more easily. Jasmine rice, that's the carbs. Probably my favorite section, because I love the carbs. Now, time for the proteins. So, proteins. As you can see, I have all of the protein flavors. Um, this ghost vegan protein, like whatever flavor you get, you can't go wrong, it's fucking incredible. The Perform, so the ghost vegan proteins taste really good, but the Perform taste really, really good. Maybe not quite as good as the ghost, but they mix a lot better and they have much better kind of like texture. Um, and then these raw sport proteins are amazing in terms of like they're more so like isolates so these have more carbs and fats in them this is more kind of like isolated protein it's got loads of digestive enzymes and good stuff in there for you but the flavor and the texture lacks um, because it's way more kind of like au naturel less processed so depending on what I need I will choose from these proteins um, and then we go on to my, like, I'm not joking, I have one of these a day. This Tesco one is amazing, this soy based yogurt, because it's really thick. So it's like a thick kind of Greek yogurt rather than a runny yogurt. Disc, di disc, D disc. What, what is going on with my brain? <laughs> this yogurt alongside some of these flavored proteins, whisk it in together put your cereal on top or your granola, it's just easily a way to get in like 30 grams of protein. And it's pretty tasty breakfast too. Tofu, 
love it you can literally flavor it however you want an easy way to flavor your protein is soy sauce a little bit of like um some kind of like syrup such as a garve syrup something like that um chili flakes ginger just all of that good stuff garlic mix it together whack it on your tofu chuck it in the air fryer you've got like crispy oriental tofu it's really good um and then we've got like the meat replacements so depending on what i fancy having when i'm having like salads and stuff i'll tend to use like these roast strips um or these no beef strips and like the macros on these for a hundred calories worth for a hundred calories worth it's 17 grams of protein so like they're really good and this so this is soy based all of it so it's all got nine essential amino acids so it's good quality protein um so linda sausages you can't go wrong with them i tend to make bolognese and things like that with this sometimes even the mid the buzz if i allow it to defrost these quarter pounders ban so yeah this is what a vegan eats for her protein so yes a lot of it some people might consider to be a bit more processed yes you can have more beans lentils legumes and things like that um but i tend to like prefer to get my protein from these sources because i'm being real with you and this is what i eat let's go on to fats fat sources <laughs> so as you can see there is a common theme here there's a lot of chocolate this is more of the kind of area where i get to indulge a little bit more but naturally a lot of the foods that i eat as a vegan aren't like single macronutrient source foods so in here just granola loads of seeds and like nuts so it's got loads of fats in so again have that on a rest day peanut butter winning with the peanut butter for a good fat source same with the yogurt same with the tofu it is like pretty high in fat free shavakadu Hey guys, look, get to Del Taco. They got a new thing called Frisha, Free, free Shavakadoo. Free Shavakadoo's at Del Taco. Um, love a little bit of avocado for fats. And then same with milk, like almond milk, nut butter, nut butters, nut milks. Brain not functioning. Nut milks also very high in fat. Other things that I might have are if I'm ever adding oil into food, which I don't tend to do to be honest, but like if I am ever having just like nuts by themselves or olives hummus is one thing which i don't have at the moment and i should have bought it because i've just realized that i ate all of it yesterday but hummus is another thing which i will use for fats as well so yeah these are the fat sources now we're gonna go on to we'll go on to fruit and veg but wait until after because we do have a little bit of the indulgent stuff to show okay so fruit and veg so fruit and veg I eat a lot of this because like I care about my insides if you know what I mean so frozen fruit half of my freezer is frozen fruit because I eat all of it like every single day like I probably get through a bag of frozen fruit a day because I just love it and also it's cheaper than buying fresh fruit and it's also nice and refreshing spinach lettuce salad leaves and stuff like that tomatoes i have salads and stuff all the time or at least i'll bulk out my food i'm still not gonna lie i'm still like got a good appetite after competing so i still like to bulk out my food as much as i can um other things that i would usually have are like cucumber carrots stuff like that but i don't have any here then like green beans and stuff like that frozen bags for when i have um i don't know stuff that i want that kind of veg with i'll have it and then of course avocados as a fat source and good source of micronutrients bananas and i really like to cook up mushrooms and peppers and put them into like chilies and pasta sauces and stuff like that so that's my fruit and veg plus pineapple can't go wrong with it so fucking good isn't it mango i wish we'd bought mango now i'm just thinking of all the tropical fruits but yeah right now let's get on to the more indulgent stuff slash the stuff that makes things taste really good and it means that i enjoy my foods loads now we're on to the good stuff this is a little bit of a mix of like protein slash indulgence slash things that taste really good to be honest all of this is still relatively like macro friendly if you know what i mean yeah it's a little bit more indulgent because i still don't have a fuck ton of calories to play with post show but i do like to treat myself so these misfit protein bars they're incredible this speculoos one is amazing so it's 200 calories 15 grams of protein tastes like a fucking chocolate bar like like a snickers they're amazing then when i'm being a little bit more indulgent one of these my vegan filled cookies in the microwave 
And if you add a little bit of yogurt with some of that, you know, flavoured whey mixed together with one of these melted on top, oh my god, it's amazing. And it's no more than like 400 calories and you easily get in like 25, 30 grams of protein. These jams are ridiculously good tasting and they're only 10 calories or something like that per spoonful. And I wouldn't, like, I know this is meant to be like the naughty section, but they taste so good. Not sponsored by Skinny Foods, but they taste fucking incredible. Then obviously Biscoff, gotta love it. These are from a vegan baker on Etsy, Cookie Co. Um, they're amazing. Marshmallows, sometimes I top my cream of rice with marshmallows. The vegan ones from M&S are oh, vegan Percy pigs as well. Like if I had those, I'd be showing them to you. Then yeah, this halo top, absolutely bangs. It's beautiful. Um, it's got like caramel swirls through it and actual chunks of pretzel. Who, like, who said that being vegan's boring? Who? One of my clients, Jane, bought me this. Like, absolutely amazing. An all dark chocolate vegan collection from Hotel Chocolat. So I'll put things like this on top of my oats and I'll loosely track, you know, I'll weigh how much dark chocolate it is, loosely track it, put it on my oats. So this is all my indulgent kind of stuff. So that's pretty much what I eat day to day. So a whole lot of variety, a whole lot of excitement, and also, we need to get a whole lot of a move on because we're about to take you on a little bit of a trip. Um, wait, am I doing the right video? Nope. I can edit it so that it works, right? <laughs> I'm just like, wait, getting crossed between video reception. <laughs> wait, where am I? Um, but yeah, this is all of the tasty good food that I eat and to anyone who thinks that being vegan, being a bodybuilder has to be on a boring meal plan. Well, get fucked because you're wrong and this is how you can eat if you actually, you know, learn how to track your food and enjoy yourself. So yeah, let's get a move on. <laughs>